reading this week's parsha about the dietary laws, which species are permitted, which species are not permitted. So the Torah, when it uses the term of the permitted species, Darul Bnei Yisrael, Lamar, Zos HaChai Shetochlu, Bikol Abeim HaSher Al-Oretz, Chai normally means the undomesticated animal. Whoever, in this context, it doesn't mean the undomesticated. It's referring to the living species. This you are permitted to eat, this you're not permitted to eat. So Rashi over here cites the Medrash. It's from the expression of life. Since Klal Yisrael are advukim, they're attached to God. And since God is the living God, all life emanates from God. So if we're attached with Dovik Takurish Baruch Hu, it's we should be in a state to be able to function in that capacity. Therefore, he separated them from contamination, spiritual contamination. And therefore, he decreed mitzvos. But to the non Jews, to the na- nations of the world, there are no prohibitions. What is it analogous to? L'rofei shnichlas v'akris ha'chole Kedish b'erad shnachuma So the Medjur tells us there was a doctor he had two patients. One patient was deathly ill and he says to the family whatever he wants just give it to him. His drink, his eat, food, whatever it may be. You, you have nothing to worry about. And to the other patient he's very selective in what he can eat, what he's not permitted to eat. So they ask, why this patient? You say anything he chooses to eat or he wants, any desire, just give to him. And the other one, you have to be so selective and careful regarding his diet. So the doctor answers, the other person, it's just a question of time before he dies. It doesn't really make a difference what he eats or what he doesn't eat. Therefore, give him, give him whatever he desires and whatever will satisfy him. The other patient who's within the, the realm of recovery it's important to give him a diet that he's able to recover. Otherwise, he could become deathly ill. Therefore, you have to be selective in regard to his diet. This is the Midrash Tent Choma. There's a, a Rechaim HaKadosh, a number of locations. We have Lo Sase, we have negative commandments, we have positive commandments. He says, refraining a negative commandment is always a refrain. Don't do. Don't do means the connotation is because if you cross that line, it's detrimental to you. Don't do it. It's not in your best interest to do. Do means it's in your best interest. It's an advancement. The don't do is a diminishment. If you transgress, doing is an advancement. It's an enhancement if you do. So he explains that refraining from negative commandments, the body itself, the neshama, and the total entirety of the human being, of the Jew, by weaning him from negative commandments, ultimately the body and the nisham, the spirituality, stabilizes and recovers. It's like, God forbid, a person is addicted to a foreign substance. When he wean him from him, ultimately the body itself recovers on its own through many phases of recovery. Then you have to nourish the body. You have to be positive. So he says, the negative commandment is to remove the choshech, the darkness, the earthiness and the mitzvah saseh is to illuminate the neshama, to advance the neshama, that's illumination. Mitzvah saseh is illumination, mitzvah lo saseh is to minimize the earthiness, the darkness, the illness, which is naturally part of the human being. And this is what David says, Sube rab tov, remove yourself from evil and do good. Because if you straddle both sides of the fence simultaneously, as you're trying to advance this to illuminate yourself simultaneously, you're actually, you're extinguishing that light by reinforcing the negativity, the losase. Therefore, it's sume rav tov. You have to minimize the evil, not to transgress the losase, which is the body, the neshama, rehabilitates itself, and by doing the positive, we're advancing ourselves. Therefore, zosa chayo, since clouds are dvukim bamokum, we're attached to the source of life. Because we're attached to the source of everything, of life, and therefore we live continuously, therefore anything which is contrary to that 
is actually is forbidden, and therefore, as Rashi cites the Midrash, God decreed, legislated many mitzvos, because those many mitzvos, they illuminate us, and they give us a greater capacity to cleave and attach ourselves to the source of life. Right.